K-I-L-R Killer Games Hey, hey! You're truly Killer Gamer and... Nerd Gamer 2K. And our buddy the Creeper, right there in front of us. This is our continuation of Minecraft. And is it going to own us? Who knows? But we will find out, and we will kind of catch you up to what's been going on. All right, so in the previous episode, we started farming, because farming's exciting, <laughs> especially when you're hungry. Huh. We killed some sheep, and we got meat. Whoop. Woo. That rhymed. Well, and we also got some wool, too. And with that wool, we made a bed. Yay. Because beds, beds are important. So, let's talk about mining, because that is something that we're going to be doing, or starting to do anyway, in this particular episode. So, my, when you do mining, there's different types of ore that you are going to be pretty much going for to make different types of things in the game. So, uh, in the, previously... Um, we had talked about how there's 256 blocks on the Y-axis. So, when you go from levels uh, 0 to 70, 0 is the as low as you can pretty much go. If you try to go any lower than that, you kind of like fall out into the um, infinite blackness of black. Anyway, so coal can be found anywhere from level levels 0 to 70. Um, and if you look at our fancy little graph there, which um, I did not draw, that actually came from the Minecraft Wikipedia site, you can see how um, the numbers uh, going up and down there, that's like, I guess, the, the amount that you can find across the world, depending upon... Uh, you know, the levels, which is going on the bottom there. So, yeah, the, you'll you'll come across a lot of coal. And from levels zero, or you know, pretty much anything lower than 60, you're going to find iron. Iron's used for a lot of things. And anything lower than 30, you're going to find gold and lapis lazuli. I have no I I, I think that's how it's said. Who, who knows? It's blue stuff. Think of it as blue blue gems that you can do stuff with. Now levels uh, anything lower than 14 and 15 you're going to find diamond. Diamond's important because you can craft the best stuff with diamond. Um, you can't get into the Nether. Well, there are ways to get into the Nether. Um, but yeah. you can't enchant. That is true. You can't do any enchanting without diamond. And enchanting is cool because you can make better armor, better weapons. So, so yeah, diamond, diamond's good. Uh, also, not, not that this is a resource or anything. It's more of a warning. That's why it's in red. Uh, also, lava, heat. You know, stop. Usually not a good thing to go jump in, you know. Uh, you can find lava anywhere from levels 30 uh, and lower. Uh, it is going to be higher than that also, but you have a bigger chance of running into uh, lava stuff lower than 30. So got to be careful when you start going into those lower levels. And then there's bedrock. Bedrock is anywhere from uh, 0 to 5. And... Bedrock is pretty much, yeah, you're not going to go any further. And like I was saying, if you try to go any further, well, yeah, you're just going to kind of fall through the world and bye-bye. So where, where to mine? That's kind of like an arguable type of thing. Um, generally, people say that uh, 
somewhere between levels 10 and 15 is considered the best area to mine. Um, my preference is level 11. I kind of picked this up from some other players because lava pools and stuff tend to generate on level 10. So if you're on level 11, um, usually don't have any problem. Um, I haven't had any problem being on level 11. I have. Have you? Yep. Yeah. Although I've heard that level 12 is actually considered pretty, is considered even better. But, eh, I don't know. I've always gone with level 11. It seems to, seems to work out for me. Plus, I've noticed that some of the thing, like some of the diamond that I find happens to be on the floor of level 11. So if you're on level 12, you won't see it. True. So that's why, I, that's why I do level 11. Um, cause when I dig out, I generally go like two blocks high. So I'm hitting level 11 and level 12. But anyway, um, that is just a quick thing on mining. And we've, we've got this graph here, you know, just as a visual aid, just in case you're kind of wanting to get an idea of how it looks. And uh, our goal is to get to a level 11 so we can get the most out of our mining. And uh, when we get down there, we are going to do what's called Phoenix mining, um, which is something that's been uh, this technique of mining uh, was developed by a, a uh, player named NX Phoenix and well we'll get into that a little bit more. Oh but, that explains uh, why it's called Phoenix Mining. Yeah. Well also I think it's called Phoenix Mining because of the way that uh, it's all designed because how it looks and stuff but uh, we'll get into more details about that um, when we get there. But for now let's uh, pick up where we left off. Alright it's daytime. So if there's anything outside it should be burning up right about now unless it's under shade got enough wood but probably should get some more wood we're going to make some fences here and I'll show you why to make a fence you're gonna take your wood planks here you're gonna put them like so put your sticks in between and you'll see that these become your posts, and this is like those little things in the middle. See that? I don't know. Make make yourself a good amount of fences there. Then now, if you flop it. Yeah, now if you flop it, you can make yourself a gate. So you put you do this. Put your big thing there, like what your post would be. And your sticks on this side, and you make yourself a gate. Make a couple of gates. And I'll show you what we're going to do here. Okay. Let's go ahead and start smelting that iron. Okay, we got glass. Let's see. We'll Yeah, we'll save the charcoal and still use it for the... Wait a minute. Where's that... Uh... Hold on. We got that wood source. Watch this. We'll make use of that. Boom! Get rid of that axe. It doesn't burn that fast, though. No. Boom. It only It's only going to do one. Okay, so we're going to start smelting this and making uh, iron stuff. Ah, okay, so we know it's daytime. Let's find out if anything is sitting out there. I'm not seeing anything, so let's get our fences ready. <laughs> I hear them. Get your sword ready. Come on out. There is a skeleton. Let's go get him. That was close. There's another one. Where is he? Ah! <laughs> Doing. Ooh, he's like right over there. 
Come over here and play. Come on. He doesn't want to. He'll get burned up. All right. Awesome. Get some apples. All right. So what we're going to do here, this will keep them away from a door, kind of, when we, when we make a door. You're making, oh, you mean a fence, a gate. Yeah, but you do this, you're not going to have to worry too much about... Um, Ma, you know, you're not gonna have to worry about them trying to bust through your door. But keep in mind that if you don't put something like this, I know this is really ugly, they are going to just come up on top and go right underneath this fence and that's not going to do you any bit of good at all. Let's put some torches here. This looks absolutely crappy, I know. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. We got, I mean, how many houses do you know have a dirt porch? Maybe that's a good thing, bad thing. I don't know. All right. So the way this is now, when we come out, we're we're going to be safe. We're not going to have to worry about a creeper being in here or anything like that. So we'll be okay. Um, what time of day is it right now? Where's our axe? Let's get some more wood. Okay, we still got some, some time. Clear out some more trees. I love these big trees. They start off small, and then if you leave, leave them be, they grow this big. And it's really, you can get a lot of wood from it, but I just think they're kind of cool to look at because you don't see a lot of them. They start off like this, and it takes a while until they turn into that, if they turn into that. You know, we were talking about deforesting an area. We might actually deforest this area. It's a really big forest, though. There's a lot of trees. Also, there is this thing called regional difficulty. Uh, meaning, the longer you stay in one area, the more difficult it will get. So, when monsters start spawning... They start spawning with armor and enchanted armor and enchanted weapons. That's a good and a bad thing. Bad thing is uh, it makes it that much more easier to take you down. The good thing is, is if you can take them down, there's a chance that you can get some of that armor. And some armor is better than no armor. Usually the armor that you get from them is uh, mostly damaged, but you can fix it. You just need, a, um, need an anvil. Oh, how much wood we got? Too bad. How much more time we got here? Where's the sun? Over there. Oh, how's our garden doing? All right, we got some stuff growing here. I do have bone. Okay, here's what you can do with bone. Stick that in there and you're going to be able to make bone meal. See that? And with bone meal, this helps speed things up with your garden. Just right click. And you want to get it to where it's uh, kind of yellow and has that... Looking around for creepers. Uh, has that kind of brownish thing on top. That means it's done. <laughs> but you can make... You can make grass grow. I didn't mean to do that. But you can bring this stuff up high and kind of speed up your garden a little bit so you can start getting wheat and it will start giving you more seeds. Because with wheat, you can make bread. 
All which right. is food. Which is food. Okay, so we plant these seeds down. We get our hoe, which is right there. And we will start planting more and more stuff. We'll just make a huge garden of wheat because not only can wheat make bread, but we can help you uh, with breeding cows and stuff. Um, cows are useful because you can get leather and make armor with it and good stuff. All right. I think that is probably good for our garden. It's getting dark. We'll just go over here and grab these saplings. Come over here to our absolutely disgusting looking dirt house. Hey, it's practical, what can I say? Now, if we may, if we keep this open like this, it's like the mobs know where, we are, where we're at. They're going to be running around out here and, and trying to get in. But if we make a door, it's like they can't see us, except for zombies. Zombies tend to know where you're at no matter what. Here's how you make a door. You take your wood planks and you go like this. All right, that's how you, and that's how you make a door. So how we were doing? Oh, that's something else. That's a trap door. We'll get to that. Gives you three doors. I don't really tend to use doors too much. But come outside, put it on your block, and you get yourselves a door. Yay! Um, let's see. I think we've got glass. You can make glass plane, uh, panes. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. We'll just put a glass block right there. Oh, and I just got one of our torches. Oh, we can't put a torch on there anyway. There. See? We can look out the door, but now we got glass. Woo! Our dirt hut has glass now. Yay. Yay. What do we have here that we don't need to take? Okay, we don't need granite. Oh, yeah, let's make bread. We don't need the sand. We'll need that. We don't need that. We don't need to take that with us. We do need to make more ladders. Do that in a second. That looks good. Okay, so let's make bread. You got your wheat. Put it across like this. You get yourselves a thing of bread. Now, where is that uh, achievement for making bread? I'm supposed to get an achievement for that. You haven't been getting any achievements. Oh, I did. I did. I got a... Uh, you like, only got one. The, the first one, there's the one where you do, do the crafting one, and then there was another. I noticed that sometimes the achievements don't come until later for some odd reason. Um, we'll put that there. But bread is good. Um, I've noticed it gives you a couple things of hunger. I always try to make bread. All right, we got wood there. What did we say we needed to make? Like 17 more ladders or something? 14. 14. Yeah, there's nine. It was close. I think if we... We just need two more. And we can always dig that last extra one if we need to. Alright. I should do it there. We'll keep wood. I, I like to try to keep wood with me um, if possible. So that way if I need to make sticks or or something. It's always handy to have wood with you just in case you need to make charcoal or what have you. Okay, now we're going to go back down to our mining thing. Oh, we have to be very careful. I forgot about that uh, 
that drop. Right, whoop. About there, okay. So the reason why I made the fences is we're going to use it to fence off an area down there so that way we don't have to worry about mobs sneaking up behind us and stuff. Because when you're mining, you kind of want to pay attention to what you're doing. It's kind of hard to do if you're always looking over your shoulder, wondering if something is going to attack you. Aha, there we go. try to go down here and throw a torch. It kind of helps it for it to not spawn. Let's see if we can see a little bit more here. With it being totally dark in there, you kind of want to be careful because things like to spawn like creepers. And you don't you don't want to, them to kind of sneak up here and Say hello and get you. We'll throw another light. <laughs> it's not going to let us do it. There. Okay. Perfect. Boom. So we're okay there. Ooh. Okay, awesome. So we're in a we're in a good spot. Now that we got this lit up, we should not be able to worry about anything um, spawning down here. Let's just put a torch there. Not too bad of a place. All right. Let's, uh, let's fill some of this stuff up. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. I think we'll be safe in here. What do you think? We shouldn't mm -hmm. have anything spawning here, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're going to continue our dig. And let's do that. Yeah, where's the ladders? down. Ah, I hear, I hear lava. Do you hear lava? No. That, this is when you want to start getting careful because we're getting lower and you want to be careful and be sure that you're not. That little pop sound was a uh, thing of lava. When I get low, I, I, tr I like to put my back up to the ladder just in case I need to <laughs> go up real quickly. Okay. Sound like a bat died. Yeah. Another thing I've noticed too, when you destroy a block, watch it closely because if you see something bright behind it as you break it, run. <laughs> it's usually lava. I can hear lava and I can hear water. So this is where we want to start being very careful. Yeah, let's hope we don't dig into something. Yeah. If you play with headphones, you can kind of here where it might be. I'm like expecting lava to come out at any point. What level are we at right now? We are at level 22. We still got 11 more to go. Oh, we have we have enough ladders at least. Let's go back up here and fill these up. Ah. 
I also like to fill them up so that way nothing tries to spawn in there. I don't know if anything can with it being such a small space, but hey, why take a chance? Okay. Sometimes I can do four down, but usually I can only do three. This is like where you really want to be careful. Okay. I feel like we're gambling in Vegas or something, you know? What's behind block number two? Is it a brand new car? Or is it certain death? Maybe both. <laughs> Could be both. I'm doing this from down here. It sounds like the lava is over to our left. I don't know. What do you think? I can't hear anything. <laughs> it's like bubbling all around us. We are almost there, folks. Almost there. Go back here and fill these up. We are at level 13. We only got two more down. To, two more to go. Just be very careful. Just like get ready to go up the gold. 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 See, one one of those resources that's gold is useful, um, and you'll see when we when we get to that. Redstone. That is as far as we need to go, is down there. All right. Let's worry about the gold here in just a moment. Since we're down here, that should be level 11. Yes. So you can see it says uh, 11 for the Y coordinate. Now what we're going to do, come up here, get in this little spot. We're going to start digging around. We're going to make ourselves a 4x4 four four room. Just do it from up here. We have no idea where that lava is at. Uh, let's see. We'll get the redstone here. and We can see the gold. ready to move here at a moment's notice if we need to. We're going to want to light this place up here soon. Sounds like it's right behind us. Let's see. One, two, three, four. That should be good there. stuff splashing around too. Okay. Let's put a torch here. Let's see. One, two, three. We got one more to go. We need... Ah, oh, we haven't made our iron pickaxe. We're not going to be able to mine that stuff just yet. We can... We can mine around stuff though. Two, three, we need to do one more. And you might want to put yourself a crafting table down here too. Put a light there, torch, whatever it is. Put one right there. All right, so we are almost ready for that Phoenix style mining. Um, I'll get it started, and then we'll do more of it on the next video. But we need to make that uh, iron, iron. 
pickaxe. So let's go do that. See, this is where that iron is helpful. It's like almost every time, the f one of the first things that I'm doing with iron is getting an iron pickaxe. But you know what? We should get ourselves a bucket, too. When you go mining, always get a bucket of water. In case you do hit lava or something, you can quickly put it out. You get experience for um, using the furnace, in case you're wondering. All right, so this is how you make, well, should be pretty obvious on how to make a, <laughs> same as the others, you just use iron up there. You're going to need the iron pickaxe in order to mine stuff like gold, diamond. Um, I think you need it for redstone. Do you need it for redstone? I iron? Think you, I think you do. If you don't, you don't get it. Yeah, you do. Um, for a bucket, you do this. Make a V shape. There's all. Those are the shears, by the way. Shears are good for uh, like cobwebs, um, getting wool off a of sheep. We want a bucket, though. So use that to make a bucket. I guess that sort of kind of looks like a bucket. And now what we're going to... Ooh, you know what? Now's a good time to make a iron sword. And we won't need that stone sword anymore. We'll just put it in here. Along with the iron that we just made. Ah, and our hunger's going down. Let's have some mutton. Yay! That was good. All right. Let's go get some water with our bucket. So you're going to carry your bucket with you. Look around, make sure there's no creepers or things coming after you. Come over here, right click on the water, boom. There you go. Simple. Water buckets are good for refining your garden. Making water traps and all kinds of unique stuff. Okay, so we have our diamond. No, we don't. <laughs> we have our iron pickaxe. Let's go down. And I'll show you how to get this Phoenix style mining started. And then on our next episode will be us going through the mine and showing you just how, in my opinion, how effective it is. Okay, let's go ahead and get this redstone. Redstone is Minecraft's first... Whoa! This is why you dig to level 11 and not 10. You see that? That is on level 10. It's It seems to be like it's always around level 10. Ten. Normally, yeah. So what you want to be careful of, you don't want to lose your stuff into the lava like I just did. Go off to the side here and... Okay. Ah, this is where the water comes in handy. If we don't do it, something's going to burn that. Do that. Don't put it on the lava. Put it on the block above it. So that way you can just grab it right back. See, watch. Like that. Grab it. Very simple. You don't lose the water that you, that you took out. I learned that the uh, hard way. <laughs> First time that I played. So come over here real close to the block. Oh, no lava. Yay. All right. So we got our redstone. So redstone is the electricity of Minecraft. And... We'll get to that, and there's all kinds of videos for making redstone and all kinds of stuff like that. Probably better than what I can do. All right, so this is not too bad of a vein of gold. Let's go ahead and get our gold. Awesome. And I think that should 
do it. We'll fill that in. Okay. What I like to do is clear out a couple of spots, take some wood, and build a crafting. See, look at this. Now we get an achievement <laughs> for making a... It's like, wait, didn't we already enough. make one of these? Yeah. So put it in there like that, and then go ahead and make yourself a furnace and put that down here also. And that way, while you're mining, you can go ahead and you can start smelting your gold and stuff like that. Okay. Let me show you how to start off this uh, Phoenix-style mining. And then we'll, we'll, we'll call our video a, a night. Okay. So you're watching this, uh, Nerdgamer? Mm-hmm. Looks like you're falling asleep. My head hurts. Oh. All right. So as you see, we have a four by four room, right? What you're going to want to do, and you can do this, and I can show you a diagram. I'll show you a quick diagram on the screen right there. You can see that kind of looks like, I guess, like a phoenix bird or whatever. It covers a lot of area. So to start off with, we can do this on each side of the... Um, room but we start off right here in the left corner make yourself a too high um, walkway to start off with and you go in count yourself uh, three in so that's one two three and what you're going to do is you're going to what I do is I put a torch where my branches are going to go. And essentially this whole hallway that you're making here is going to have your torches and you're going to know, oh, okay, that's the path I need to follow to get back to my particular room. So we'll go in here and we'll dig some more. One, two, three. Just like that. Put another torch. We'll do one more. One, two, three. All right, there's um, coal, which is good. We can put that in our furnace, but we won't do that just yet. All right, so you can dig that pretty far. Let's say you can take it maybe five torches. I like to take it about ten torches. That's just the start. This is your main hallway that's, that is always going to take you back to this room. All right? What you're going to do now is now you're going to come over here to your first torch, make a right, and now you're going to start digging six. So I do it at three at a time. One, two, three. One, two, three. Do three more. One, two, three. So now you have six. So now what we're going to do put a torch there and now we're going to come back around and wind up back at the hallway again so we're gonna do another three so one two three now we'll be turning around and going back this direction but before we do that you go here and you're making yourselves a window right there so again dig three put a torch right there. What this is going to do is when you come back around from the other side, you're going to see this torch and that's going to be a signal to you that you need to go six more blocks. Hmm. So this winds up, uh, it starts off small like this and then it, it gradually zigzags its way and gets bigger each time. And when you do that on all four sides of that square room, you're covering a lot of area. And that this is how this is how you get diamond. This is the it never fails. I always get diamond this way. Okay, now we don't even need to count. We just go ahead and just dig, and boom, there we are. See that? See how we line up perfectly with our next torch? 
and now we do the we do the same thing that we did over here. We always think threes and sixes. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then we do it again. All right, put a torch here, then we turn. Always making right turns. Um, well, we made a left turn over there. But over here, we're making a right turn. So, kind of back up a little bit so we don't have lava coming out. Two, three, three. And we make our window. One. Whoa! Look at that. Okay, so we have a room. Why is that all dark like that? That is weird. Oh, that's kind of wicked the way that looks. Okay, well, we got gold over there. That's good. All right, so one, two, three. Well, we don't have to put a torch. <laughs> so we'll get to that when we get to that. So now we're going to go back. See, again, this will be our window to tell us that we need to go six more. Well, we'll deal with this in the next episode. So now we're going to go back. Six. Okay, we got some coal coming up here. And there we go. Now we're back to here. Now the key is, remember, you when you keep going and zigzagging, you need to have this hallway, this main hallway dug out. If not, you're going to wind up coming back around and not knowing where that hallway is because you didn't dig it. Dig it? Right. <laughs> So, this is the start of our Phoenix-style mining. Um, I hope this is making a little bit of sense as we're going here. Um, and we will pick this up in our next episode. We'll get all this uh, ore, ore. Yeah, I guess it's ore. Coal and all this other good stuff as we get going. And we'll make this a little bigger. But uh, that's it for now. Bit of a longer video than I expected, but uh, this will help you get things started as far as um, getting uh, a shelter. I, I, I won't say a home. I guess you could call it a home. But basically a shelter so you can be safe from monsters. Um, getting your tools, maybe starting to get your food sources created. Um, starting your mining. So that way you can start getting resources and stuff. Uh, considering we got monsters and stuff like that, it might be a good idea to get resources. I'm just saying. But anyway, hopefully this will kind of get you started on stuff. And then we'll keep going. Hopefully giving you some more tips. Of course, you can uh, leave tips if you want in our comments section. Um, which is down below the video. And we have other videos. So you can one of those uh, video boxes there and go to that. Um, better yet, you can even subscribe to our channel and be notified when we do have another video. We like subscribers. Subscribers are cool. They Just are. like bow ties. And uh, other than that, keep watching for our next episode. You never know. We may hit a lava source on the next episode and have to restart all over again. <laughs> That is going to be the fun of this hardcore mode, because we have to play it safe. Otherwise, we got to start over all over again. But, eh, it'll be fun. Alright, anyway, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you on the next Minecraft Owns Hardcore video.